You've probably seen it before. A juicy thunderstorm is headed right toward the city or town where you live. Then just as it's about to hit, it dissipates or splits around you. Well, it turns out there might be a reason for this. One researcher I spoke with looked at thunderstorms in an urban area, and he noticed this same splitting pattern. So why does it happen? Cities are often hotter than surrounding rural areas. Buildings, pavement, and even air pollution in cities can trap heat. This can affect incoming thunderstorms. And so as the storms are approaching, they see these two different air masses, one away from the city and one over the city. And they two sort of collide with each other and they create a front and they just go around it. Some research has shown that cities can even create thunderstorms or intensify them. If you add heat to the system, that should increase or destabilize uh, the atmosphere. So could lead to greater storms. Uh, forming, especially downstream of a, of a city. There's another phenomenon called Virga that could also explain why cities sometimes get missed. Virga is when rain falls from a cloud but evaporates before hitting the ground. And the heat that cities give off can impact this. If you have a fairly widespread warm rain event uh, spanning the city and the surrounding countryside, you're more likely to see the air evaporate, the rain evaporating over the city than over the surrounding countryside because the city is warmer and it's air drier. Now this doesn't happen with every single thunderstorm. Lots of times it's just the luck of the draw or location. But experts do say that by changing our traditional civic infrastructure, we could change our precipitation patterns. By adding things like trees on rooftops and lighter colored pavement when constructing roads, summer storms may be more enticed rather than repelled by our cities. Ethan Williams, CBC News, Regina.